first thing we've got to do is to make the sort of marinade or rub to rub that those two chicken down with um to you know to infuse it with all that lovely flavor of a good jerk and we've done this before just gonna sort of repeat it we're trying to get it sort of thick and not as liquid as we've done in the past so I've got here some raw cane sugar some olive oil and all the ingredients I use here today will be listed down in the description of the video as I normally do some fresh ginger two cloves of garlic scallions and you can't do a good jerk without scallions three things or four things you must have in a good jerk marinade scallion scotch bonnet pepper now you notice I'm using my hands I'm not as an expert please wear gloves and wash your hands after immediately with soap and water seeds and everything remember if you want to control the heat don't put any seeds if you want this really spicy as a way it should generally be going with another one of those scotch bonnet peppers so that was number three number two scallion those the scotch bonnet pepper we've got all spice that is the third most important ingredient in a good jerk marinade and the fourth fresh thyme so I'm just gonna break that up good I need to go to the gym to do cooking videos but things drop that's cool there then we're gonna go in with some cinnamon and some ground nutmeg. And the final ingredient for, I'm not using any salt in this, so I'm gonna go in with some dark soy sauce. And you can stop right there, that's cool. Everything is nice and cozy up in there. If you wanted to add some lemon juice in there, some orange juice, perfect. But you know me, I like to go a little bit beyond. And then beyond, and this time, we're going in with three lime leaves fresh off the lime tree so you're wondering where Chris Gain lime tree in Canada yo that's top secret man I can't really share that so I'm just gonna rip I don't want the sort of rib in the middle that's gonna be a bit too tough plus I think it's gonna add a bit of bitterness to the marinade so I'm just gonna peel the fleshy parts of the leaf off that's all going in there. It's gonna give it a nice sort of earthy herb. Well, you notice a lot of earthy things in there. And my new favorite ingredient, some fish sauce. Going with about a tablespoon of that fish sauce. Then you wanna blend this all together and get the chicken ready. And here I have the two birds we'll be using today. What I went ahead and did was, um, they're whole. I trimmed off the extra skin and fat over here. I took off the tips of the wing and the sort of bottom part here, I trimmed that off and any extra fat, I went ahead. Yo, that's the worst thing you could ever see. Don't ever serve Caribbean people chicken and there's a feather on there. And then I went ahead and I washed it with lemon juice and water. And now we have the marinade we're just gonna pour that all over it and you're gonna get messy at this point here now the reason why it looks so sort of green it is because of the the scallion and um, yeah the scallion I also what I forgot to mention I added a bit of parsley to it as well what you want to do now is go in with your hands and inside the cavity so you take some of that marinade and you work your way all into the cavity of that chicken. You rub it down nicely. Pretend you're a chiropractor and you're just going to work here or massage masseuse. And now after you do this, I'm doing this in a bowl, but you can certainly do it in a Ziploc freezer bag. Put it in the fridge. Remember to put those bags over on top of a plate and leave that in there to marinate overnight would be best if you don't have time at least four hours and you're good to go gotta go wash my hands and remember if you're using your bare hands i just did here to wash it really good with soap and water we've got that scotch bonnet pepper in there you're trying to play with that now so i'll just tell you what we have going on here as you can see i have the chicken tied up onto the sort of bar that which is on the rotisserie part of my grill on the bottom here I have a tin foil pan with water in there and the water will serve three purposes one 
to avoid flare-ups when the fat starts rendering down from the chicken. Two, the water will help create steam and add moisture so we don't get dry chicken at the end. And three, in that water, the remaining, the sort of extra marinade dropped in there, I'm gonna go in with some, some garlic. I've got a bunch of fresh thyme and some more of that lime leaf that I have, along with, to really infuse it with that whole jerk flavor, some more of that allspice berries. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out to you guys is that my grill has one, two, three burners. These two are on a sort of a low heat, but this one here is on sort of a medium high. I want most of that flame to come from here, and there's a gradual heat from here. I'm going to put the lid on pretty soon. Now, I know some of you watching this old grill and thinking, Chris, time for a new one. Yo, if anybody wants to be a godfather and, and, <laughs> and supply me with a new grill, maybe you're working for a barbecue company. Yo, reach out to your boy, man. Now, if you didn't want to do the sort of flavor pan that I have here, I would still recommend doing it with plain water, mind you. But if you wanted to do a sort of a smoke pouch on the side there with some apple wood and some pimento berries and stuff like that, even some bay leaves would be ideal just to give it that smoky flavor. I'm cool with what I'm doing here, and I highly recommend you give this one um, a try like this. It's been about 45 minutes now since we started. And you can see it's starting to develop some color. There's still a lot of liquid in there. If that liquid dries up, feel free to add some liquid, some more liquid, some more water in there if you want. But it's coming to come. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a C-clamp holding on there. Yeah, your boy had to kind of MacGyver it because the sort of clamp that came with it, that thing went walking. I can't find it anywhere. But it's coming to come, man. Just look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've tried to maintain a temperature of between 275 and 300 degrees Celsius. It's been about 2 hours and 20 minutes. The chicken is fully cooked all the way through. Let's look at that. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to allow it to cool, and then I'm going to slice it up. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you all in the kitchen with me jerk rotisserie chicken remember we did things a little bit different with that fish sauce with the lime leaves but i'm telling you man this place out here smelling real nice even neighbors peeping over the um the fence always a pleasure to have you guys with me man adios my little baby is here we've got cookbooks guys westindianfoodcompany.com get your copy today